Yeah. <laughs> Marlo, you've been in baseball a long time, man. Um, when you see someone like Jose Ramirez, I think he's hitting like 470 something at Yankee Stadium. Is there any rhyme or reason why a guy can play so well uh, in certain parks or certain places? You know what? I'm, I'm, I will hope to say that, you know, maybe he sees the ball good here. You know, I, I've heard players say, I just see the ball um, um, better in certain parts. Uh, but I also think Jose, he, he, he's such a good hitter. He, he, he got a plan and, you know, he's been steady with his approach and, and, you know, it's, it's good to see him. He had some ups and downs, but, you know, there's a, a consistency to him that, that shows every day. And, you know what? He's a big threat in the middle of that lineup, and, and opposing um, teams know it. What did you think of Eli today? You know what? Uh, I thought he was pretty good in terms of mixing his pitches. I, I thought at times he was one step ahead. Uh, he got some outs um, with his fastball, got some chase. Um, th didn't think he threw his changeup a lot, but when he did, you know, it was down and it was effective. Um, I, I, I think getting the ground ball double play was huge. Uh, and the kid just went out there and competed, you know. Uh, we kind of had a target of maybe 90 pitches um, probably early in the year. I probably would have sent him back out there for the seven. But, you know, you think about it, what, he's going to go out there and face one or two hitters and you got to go get them anyway. And I thought having a fresh start for Stefan to start the inning, was a better choice, um, but but Eli was good. You know, he's kind of kind of he makes adjustments from um, start to start. You know, when he needs to do some things, and and I saw that today. What does he say about him that he's had three of his better starts in Toronto, in Fenway, and now in Yankee Stadium? Well, I, I think he would say he won good starts anywhere he pitches, but uh, you know, it was much needed uh, effort uh, from him. You know, with the double headers uh, coming up. You know, you kind of go in with a with a stronger bullpen, which is a plus. Um, but it says a lot about this young man. He competes uh, and he want to do well. You know, I think he realized he belongs and and can pitch up in the big leagues here. And it's good to see. You, how's Harold doing? You know what? Um, I talked to James a little bit after the game. He said he was feeling much better. It, it was kind of precaution, you know, just taking him out because he tried to throw. And he said, I could throw, but I don't know if I could cut it loose. So um, I, I thought it was best just to kind of get him out, see what um, going on there. I didn't want nothing major to happen. He hit that wall pretty good. Um, so, you know, just, just taking care of these players when we can. You know, we got um, players on the bench that can step in. You know, I told Miles I tried to get you a day off. He looked at me. He said, no problem. This is what we got to do. So it was good to see him come in and, and respond and be ready to play. Hoynes, you're mute. All right. Tomorrow, did you have a, a specific kind of what, – what, when you face a, a pitcher like Cole as hitters, what, what, is there a specific plan? No, I, I, he's going to be aggressive in the zone. Um, I mean, he's got many pitches. Um, you know, I think he punched out seven, but, you know, I, I thought we we grinded him a little bit, you know, where we, we got his pitch count up, and I thought guys was um, aggressive swinging at the fastball that was in the zone. I mean, he, he's got good stuff, you know. I mean, you know, he can attack you in many different ways, but I thought we were aggressive swinging at the fastball. You know, and, and tried to put some pressure on him, you know, when we got some guys on base, you know, to try to, um, uh, you know, be aggressive, steal bases, just not sitting back, you know, letting them um, go through a lineup. 